Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get free ringtones from your iTunes 8 onto your iPhone. Now it's really easy, it may sound kind of hard, but after you try it, you'd be surprised at how unbelievably easy it is. Okay, now first what you do, you pick a song that you like, and I like this one. So, the next step is, you click on Get Info, then... Uh, now iTunes will only let you, or rather your iPhone, will only let you have a 40 second long ringtone. So what you want to do is, let me pause that real quick. You want to find a segment of the song that you like that's 40 seconds tops. I mean it could be smaller or whatever, but it can't be no longer than 40 seconds. Now since I already done my research on this song, uh, you want to click on start and stop time. And once again, this is uh, after you click highlight the song, click on get info. And I want to start the song at 30 seconds into it, and I want to end it by ringtone at 1 minute and 10 seconds into it. Then you click OK. And if you click on the song to play it again, it should start right where you uh, put those numbers in. Let me pause that. Then what you do is you go to Advanced, click on create AAC version and then it should create it really quick and it should be actually right there as you can see there's two and then the other one is actually perfectly at 40 seconds so what you do is then you drag this to your desktop and here's an easy way to do that let me just shrink the screen a little bit yeah. okay you drag the copy you just made I'm going to try to get in so you can see it, to your desktop. And right after you do that, you want to go back to the one you just made and delete it because you really don't need, need it anymore. Let's move to trash. Now here's the main thing. Uh, let me minimize this real quick. Once it's in your desktop, what you have to do is rename it let me see if I can get it focused so that the final letter instead of being an A is an R, a lowercase R. Then you click away from anywhere away and it'll ask you, are you sure you want to just make the changes? Blah blah blah. Click on use M4R. Okay, after you do that, click on your hard drive. If you want to go to your music section or your iTunes section, click on iTunes, iTunes music. And look for ringtones. There it is. And then what you want to do is just drag this, your song you just created, to your ringtones. And then open back up iTunes. Now I've used iP iTunes 8, and it should work with iTunes 8 or any other previous ones, but uh, here's just the one I'm using. Go to File, click Add to Library. Now I've been doing this earlier today, so that's what's still there. Click on Ringtones, click on the one you just made, open, and now it should be under your Ringtones, and you can use it next time you sync it. And that's all it is. Trust me, try it one or two times. Mess around with it, and it's totally worth it. You don't have to pay a dollar to get a ringtone. Now, the only drawback with this is you can only use it for songs that don't have that DRM, that digital like rights protection stuff. So any song that you've ripped onto your iTunes music, or you could use uh, anything you've downloaded off of FrostWire, LimeWire, etc. You can use. But uh, yeah, if you if you bought a song from iTunes, you can't use it. But it's really good way to get free ringtones. Alright, and uh, that's it. Enjoy.